Hey guys, Momo here, and uh, welcome to this uh, final episode where I'm going to find the true end. Um, I am just going through the game, uh, speedrunning it, and I'm going to show you the parts that I didn't... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, like I'm going to find the... What's it called? The memories I didn't trigger in the last uh, episode. Uh, not episode. Playthrough. <laughs> uh, sorry for my... Uh, Stumbling is uh, a <laughs> this is uh, kind of tiring because I'm following the guide like to T. So um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of cutting, uh, jumping a lot. Um, but uh, I found the first thing I didn't trigger, um, which was in connection to these uh, hummingbird paintings. So isn't it a pretty picture? Hmm? This is a hummingbird. Hummingbird? Yes, the hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world. They fly like bees, and their long bills suck nectar from flowers. I see, so these birds suck nectar. You know a lot about them. Do you like birds? I might have. Okay, so we have to take the picture like we normally do, and then we go over to the other, other painting here. And this is where I was too quick in the last playthrough because he has to actually trigger the memory of how to solve this uh, puzzle. And uh, I was too fast because I knew how to do it, so. The painting hangs on the wall. Let's take a picture. In that bird, p bird painting, the bird has a sprig of clo uh, clover in its bill. Ashley. What is it? This painting... Yeah, it's a hummingbird, right? You said that. No, not that. What's going on, Dee? Ha. Huh. Franny. Dee, do you see this painting? This painting holds a secret. What is it, Dee? Ashley, I remember. If you put these two paintings together, they make one. Together? These are secret paintings. Secret paintings? Yes, Franny told me the bird paintings hold a secret. It takes two to make one. What does that mean? That means that if you take the two paintings and stack them... Stack them? Well, it's not easy to do, but if you can imagine it, you can see the hidden picture. Stack the pictures to reveal... Oh, okay, if we use the das. Das? What's a das, Ashley? This. Oh, that device you used to show me Jessica's picture. Is that a camera? Not exactly, but with it I can take pictures and stack them and move them. I see, that's pretty good. My dad made it. Is your father an inventor? No, he's a scientist. A scientist? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jessica said that there was something my dad wanted to tell me. That's why he sent me this. I wonder what he wanted to tell me. Ashley? Yeah. Try stacking the paintings of the birds using that thing. Okay. Okay, so that's the thing uh, I didn't include last time. I will see you in the next uh, the clip. <laughs> so, the next thing uh, that... I overlooked in the last playthrough was uh, this drawer. I uh, realized after I finished uh, the playthrough that I didn't uh, open this drawer <laughs> down here. So <clears throat> uh, you have to use the golden bird key, which we got in the bottle long ago. <laughs> 
And there's a diary. It's an old diary. There's a name on the inside cover of the diary. Lawrence Edward. May 1948. I believe my time has finally come. I'm going to write down my thoughts while I can still hold a pen. Foremost on my mind at the moment is that sunny day 32 years ago. That was the day I first held Henry and Thomas in my arms. It's hard to believe that these two men were once so small. It was also the day I received a letter of reconciliation from my estranged son Leonard. But the, day, but the letter had come too late. When I learned of his death, my heart was filled with regret. The boys were another chance for me to make peace with Leonard. I'll never forget their innocent smiles. They lightened my heart. That day I decided to raise them as my own. I loved them more than anything and wished them nothing but happiness. Giving them good lives became my life's purpose. They were my birds of happiness. They made my heart free. And as I hoped, they grew up, uh, they grew up both happy and healthy. Like their father, they both chose their own paths. I made sure I didn't make the same mistake that I made with their father. Father. <laughs> I set them free to chase their dreams. Henry left to become an artist and Thomas became a writer. I wished them all the luck in the world, even though it meant I would be alone. However, just when their dreams were coming true, my hopes were utterly shattered. The war started and both of my boys were sent off to fight. The military confiscated all the gold I was saving for them. I felt so powerless. All I could do was hope for the war's quick ending and the safe return of my beloved Henry and Thomas. Ah, sorry. <clears throat> but when the war finally ended, they returned to me. However, my birds were hurt. They had lost their wings. Henry lost his right arm, his painting arm. And Thomas, he lost part of his heart. He couldn't trust anyone. Just like when I first held them 32 years ago. I embraced them both with my old arms and then I wept. Hoping beyond all uh, hoping beyond all beyond all hope for a quick recovery of their hearts and bodies. But now I wonder if I had acted correctly. My heart is filled with regrets and sorrow, just like when Leonard died. However, this time, I don't have those innocent smiles to wipe away my sorrow and regrets. Lawrence's, Lawrence's diary. My great-grandfather. Okay, so I will be back uh, if I find something new <laughs> okay so I'm back um, because this is the second playthrough of this game um, there's actually some minor differences uh, visually <laughs> so um, actually the zoetrope uh, if we use the zoetrope paper it won't be a bird this time flying around it will be a little ninja <laughs> now I'll be able to see something in the zoetrope so I just wanted to show you uh, that it's a ninja this time. Uh, the pattern would still uh, is still the same, so nothing different there. But uh, it's just a ninja instead of a, a bird, which I find kind of uh, funny. <laughs> it's just a small difference, but it's uh, it's cute. <laughs> So that's uh, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back if uh, there's actually something uh, new going on. So uh, 
boy. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> uh, it must be really annoying to just keep hearing this. But um, another thing I didn't uh, do in the last playthrough was before you talk to uh, your father, when you fi uh, first find him, you can give him the sweets and he will give you something in return. I'll give him a sweet. Here you go. Thank you. Would you like some chocolate? And I got some chocolate. <laughs> and uh, that will be useful later. So Okay, so remember the chocolate part I was talking about before? Uh, if you get the chocolate, it will trigger a conversation uh, topic. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you like chocolate? I love it. I think there's something very wrong with people who don't. Have you ever eaten so much it made you sick? Yeah, you could say that. Actually, your mother who uh, would often tell me off because I used to eat so much. Let me guess, you love chocolate too. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yes, so much that Jessica gets angry at me sometimes. Okay, so I will be back shortly. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, this time I, I don't think I will be cutting out too much because this is uh, like brand new for the, uh, the good end. <laughs> so after uh, you enter the cave um, and Ashley asks about how it was, yeah, how it used to be connected to the courtyard. Um, Dee actually talks now <laughs> instead of being silent. So Ashley. What's the matter? I remember now. I've been here before. In this cave? Yes. I ran away through the courtyard in the mansion. I found myself in this cave. You ran away? Why? Because someone was chasing me. Yes, I remember now. Daniel, don't run. Oh, it was my uncle Henry. I just kept running and running. Then I found myself in this cave. Why? Why were you running? I saw my father in the silver bird room, covered in blood. I wanted to tell Franny what had happened to him. I went to her room. But my uncle Henry was there. As soon as I saw his face, I was overcome with fear. I was so scared, I ran from the room. D. Ashley, I remember. I, want I was terrified and so, so sad. I ran so hard that it was hard to breathe. But if I stopped running, the tears kept pouring out, and I couldn't even see in front of me. I finally made it to this cave when my knees gave away and I collapsed. I thought about my father, and my sadness overcame me, and I wept. D. Ashley? Hmm? What's wrong? Were you... Were you just talking to yourself? Oh, don't worry about it. I have this habit where I just start talking to myself. Ashley, that's my fault, isn't it? Because I left you all alone. Okay, so I think there might be more memories being triggered as we go along. You know, Ashley, I was thinking. Yeah, about what? Your voice. What about it? It sounds a lot, li lot like your mother's. Really? Thanks, Dad. It makes me happy to hear. Ah, uh, to think that. Hey, Dad. When I was little, what was I like? Okay, so this uh, part is just the same as the last time, so I'm just going to skip over it. Hey.
Hey. There's a shoe on the floor. It looks like D's shoe. D? Who's that? A friend of mine? A friend? Got these other shoe. Ashley. D. I remember now. After I collapsed, I took my shoes off because my feet hurt. Holding the shoes that my father had bought for me, I walked towards the back of the uh, back of the cave. It was dark and so lonely, but I had this feeling that my father might be back there. So I walked to the end. Why was your shoe there? Because my uncle Henry came here. Then what happened? When I saw him, I was so scared that I dropped my shoe. I started running again. I thought I had to run or he would shoot me. He would shoot you? I thought he would shoot me. Like he shot my father. Ashley. I heard my father and uncle talking in the silver bird room. Come on, Henry. Give me give it a rest. What belonged to our grandfather is rightful in mine now. I already told you, Thomas. He had no assets left. Lies. You just want to keep it all for yourself. If you won't help me change this world, you leave me uh, leave me with no choice. The story will be you were so distraught over grandfather's death that you killed yourself with this gun. A tragic story, don't you think? You could never shoot me. You don't have it in you. You lost your arm because you couldn't shoot during the uh, during the war. Thomas. Ah. What are you doing? Henry, why? That's right. My uncle had said to my father beforehand, "Do a uh, Do you want the money so badly that you would do this?" Thomas, I don't know you anymore. You're a different person. Then he had taken the gun from my father's hand. He took it from uh, he took it from him. And what he did to my father. D. Ashley? Are you okay? Dad. What is it? What do you know about the Edward family? So we've seen this before also. Just talking about what he knows. And uh, about how he loved uh, the paintings. Bill is waiting for us. Bill. Richard. Okay, so we've also seen this before. So, uh, and it's quite a bit of uh, text. So I'm going to skip it until something different happens. Okay, so we just finished the whole ordeal with uh, finding out who the killer is and Bill falling down into the cave. Ashley. Are you okay? Not really. I'm not okay. Explain to me, Dee. Why did Bill fall? Was he able to see you? Maybe. Dee. I didn't want Bill to shoot your father. You saved him, Dee. But Bill, he fell from my dad's hand. 
No. I didn't want anyone to die. I remember. It's coming back. What? When I looked at your father's hand, I remembered something about when I died. Ashley, I was running from Uncle, Uncle Henry. I got to this point. He chased me here. Then he yelled. Daniel, don't run. If you run, you're hard. But I was so scared of my uncle. I couldn't stop. I ran to the end of the cliff and stopped there. Then my chest became tight. Daniel, be careful. Come to me. But when I heard that, my heart clenched and I lost control of my body. Then I fell from the cliff. D. Ashley, I remember. The last thing I saw was an outstretched hand trying to save me. It was the hand of my Uncle Henry. O.D. Epilogue. hear the sound of the waves yes okay so this is the same um, as before so I'm going to cut it to when the actual um, ending begins <laughs> okay so this is the final part of uh, this episode um, after this part with uh, D the rest will just be the ending like uh, we saw in the first one so this will be the final part, and this is um, this is like the the high point in the D story. So there you are, D. Ashley, I'm sorry for startling you earlier. I was surprised too. I didn't think he could see you. Yes, me too. I guess some adults can see me after all. I guess so. Ashley. What? I'm glad I have spent this time with you. You are? I never thought I'd meet someone like you. You helped me put together the missing pieces of my life. Thank you, Ashley. Okay. I'm so glad I met you. What's wrong, Dee? You're acting quite strange. Hey D. Ashley. D. I'm happy for you, Ashley. You are not alone anymore. D. Ashley. I remember everything now. I can finally move on. D. Please, touch my hand, Ash Ashley. Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye. Ashley, please help me get my memories back. It takes two to make one. Dad might not recognize me when he sees me for real. It's not playing? No, really enough. I want to go home.
It's only natural to be afraid, but the truth is nothing to be scared of. Real sadness comes from not knowing the truth, I should know. Come on, Ashley, your father is waiting. D has gone. He's moved on past this world. I'll never forget you, D. You were the only one who knew my true feelings. You are at peace now. Goodbye, D, my friend. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually getting teary-eyed, what the hell. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> this was uh, the last uh, episode of Another Code, Two Memories, slash Trace Memory for you Americans. Uh, this was such a nostalgic uh, ride for me. Um, I sincerely hoped you enjoyed the series. Um, sorry about the, the finale with the normal end being one hour long but <laughs> I kind of misjudged uh, the length um, but it's all good um, at least this episode will be uh, shorter to compensate I guess um, but yeah I, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this where I kind of showed you what I didn't show you in the throughout the playthrough um, this might not be like a good guide <laughs> if you want to use this as a walkthrough um, but yeah, um, it this has been so much fun, and uh, the next video uh, series you will see me in will be Duncan Run Part Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, I will try to play as many uh, as much Duncan Run Part until the V three game releases, um, and when I complete the other three games I will play V3 after that. So it will be pro it will probably a bit <laughs> be a bit after like the main hype of the series. Um but I'm just going to play it to enjoy it myself, so So yeah, I hope you will tune in for the next series I will make. And goodbye for now. Okay, so remember when I said that uh, the, the thing was finished? <laughs> the thing is, if you when you complete the second playthrough, um, there's this puzzle. And the way you solve it is the ribbon on the top screen um, will reflect down onto the letters on the bottom screen. <laughs> and the point is to... Not to uh, turn off your 3DS capture card. That's a bad idea. Very, very bad idea. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's back. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, the point is that you have to reflect the the thing down onto your uh your capture card. <laughs> Not capture card. Your DS screens. God damn it. This is very hard to do. I'm actually struggling in real life right now. <laughs> okay, so I hope that screen doesn't go out again. But, uh, it will say, um, two, uh, you, uh, two, you, um, What is this? Uh, off sixteen uh, years to you of sixteen years. So, uh, this is a uh, most likely, uh, actually, it's confirmed. <laughs> it's a it's a hint to the second game in the series where she is sixteen years old. Um, 
So that's a very nice uh, Easter egg. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a nice, <laughs> nice little thing. Um, the thing with the second game is the Wii game. Uh, so I first have to like figure out with the capture card and stuff before I can actually record it. But I ha I do have the game, so I can play it in the future. I most likely will <laughs> because it's also a very good game. Um, so yeah, <laughs> bye for real now.